Okay. Took this out of the, out of the chuck. I've not got much left to hold on to because I'm so far out. So we're a lot longer than we normally would be. So it looks like we are now about four point four twenty-five. See how bad my eyes are getting. Ah, bastard. Good run on the tip there, it's about to be perpendicular. Oop, missed it. Uh, I missed it by one and a half thousands. I guess my eyes are getting pretty bad. So 4.425 seems to be the magic number. That was the same dimension as our center line, remember? No, that was two. This one's four. Yeah, it's 200,000 more on that one. Yep, 425. All right, so I'm going to write that down so I remember it. I have to watch the video. That does it too. Okay, so now we got our top here. So this is where we put the chuck on this side. This goes in here. It's supposed to go down until you get to the set screw. quite a bit. Where'd the Ellen go? The Ellen disappeared. Great. Ellen, 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 where'd you go? Okay, I hit the floor and disappeared. There it is. Right there. It tried to fall. It, it tried to run away from me. Black tools and a black floor makes it hard to find. Okay, so we need to be at least on there. We gotta go just a little bit past the edge. We don't have to go that deep. So I'm gonna go about to there. So I don't know how much length I need, so I'll tighten it up. So I went about 100 thou or so, 60 thou, whatever, past that machined area. So we're on top of the square on that. Now they want me to drive this with a tap driver on this side, they said. Yeah, that's a square. Okay. And this here is a plug tap. Almost a bottoming tap. Actually, it's a bottoming tap. You only got two threads to go. That's a bottoming tap. So it's not a good idea to start a, a hole with a bottoming tap. That's not very good at all. But that's what they're going to have us do. So this is a tap handle. Hopefully there's enough length in here to use our tools. My problem is I don't have enough length to hold on to it. So we're not using that. Use this. And it looks like we can use it over there because there's enough room. So this is square, you just open it up. It's big enough it goes on there. And you tighten up the screws equally. There you go. One tap driver. All right, so this one here. We're using the same bushing to keep everything aligned up. The hole is blew out, blown out. And it looks like they did put a little chamfer on the top of the thread, which is a plus. Make sure you use a lot of fluid, especially on the bottoming tap. Okay, this should be the size. It is. We are almost out of room. 
be close to bottoming this out too, like everything else around here. So just put steady pressure, but not too bad. More than that. It's a bottoming tap, so it takes good pressure. I think it's going in. Yeah. Okay. Bring it out, clean the threads up. A little bit of a binding condition going on, which means the tap is not quite square. See it's tight and then it gets loose. So I loosen up this bush and it'll give me a little bit of free play. That should help the situation a little bit. Tapping pretty good. Threads in there somewhere. Threads don't feel too good in there. Look too good. I don't even really even see any threads in there. That's not a good sign. I think that hole worked itself out pretty big, which is bad. Okay, we're bottomed out right there. I don't think we have much threads in this thing. I think this is going to be junk. We'll see. And you don't see a lot of chips on your tap. That's not a good sign. Even a real fine thread like this, you should be getting some chips. Some threads in there. threads in there. I don't know where all the chips went, but 
There are threads. I don't know if you can see them, but they're threads. Maybe that'll help. Light doesn't help you too much, does it? Yeah, there's a. Hopefully, there's enough. Okay, so now all you do is you, you got the little dimple in the center hole down in there. You hit it with the little 60 thou drill, they said. I think the diameter they said it was. It's a little small one. You just do this by hand. I don't mean hand by like this, hand with a drill motor. We're going to use a small one though, not the big one. More control and higher speed. Small drills like high speed. straight through and try not to break it as you go up the back side. You can really control the angle of this by what you drill this at, I guess. I'm purposely put an angle to it in the direction I want to go. I can cheat quite a bit on the angle, how much comes out. Okay, so. Piers are about that thick by the brand new drill mark. Feel that air going through it. Okay. Crush and release. Typical new tap threads, loose the goose. It actually looks pretty good. See, we're not in a hole that's where the big spacer goes. And we're almost flush with a spark plug on the depth, so it looks pretty nice. It looks like it almost belongs in that spot. So you now we just gotta we'll have to measure this hole and see how deep it is, but for now we gotta make sure it threads in all the way. the washer. There's room for that to go down so that means it's not bottomed out. There we go. Have to find the spark plug. See what it looks like with the spark plug in there. Okay, I'm going to pick this thing up and see what it looks like. I'm go grab my spark plug real quick. And you can see how it looks with the plug in it. My test plug right here. That means the electron has been cut off. Ignition tester. If it jumps, if it jumps that spark, it's good. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and pull the head off the plate here. So you can see what we really got. Ok, 
Okay. Ooh, it came right through the hole. Blow this off. Let's see, I'll come over here this side over here. Our other head is out. Like it moved much. See it's over there, and I'm over there. Looks like about the same spot. I'm seeing a big, big gain there. So where's my drill at? Okay, so that comes at an angle like that. Mine. An angle like that. How much of a difference is that? It's only four and a half degrees of difference, but. It's pretty loose. Mine's tight. Let's grab a good drill. Uh. Good drills have more drills to choose from. Difference in angle? I can't. I got a trash can in the way. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see the difference. So we can pan across. Where's the other one at? It's way over there. There it is. See the difference in angle between the two? Not much. It's different though. Thing is, I didn't gain any height change. I was hoping to be a lot more toward that edge than what I am. So I think I'm about the same. Except this one here, the hole's going more of an angle like that. Mine is more straight up and down. So. It's actually probably a little closer physically to this than this one is. Even all that work I did to chain move it out, I didn't really gain on it. So a big difference in the two. So, so I was hoping to get more. But, uh, where's my scale at? About three eighths of an inch between us and there. And we're a little bit further up over. It is further over, but not by a lot. And I might have gained. Yeah. Probably gained a 32nd of an inch, maybe. That's about all I gained. That was a lot of work for small improvement. And if I slot the plate out and move it over anymore to gain more on this side, then we're going to have more problem cutting. We're going to cut into the fin more. Then we're going to be into this fin further. worried about this one I'm worried about the one below it because if you hit that one and there where's the depth that's right where my thumb is see if you hit that next one 
then you will never be able to use the head because the compression will blow up the spark plug through and blow straight out. You have a big compression leak over here on the side. So, not much of a gain. Looks wise, see how much of a fin they got showing. And I'm not much different. So I'm trying to figure out if we got more or less. What's the actual location change between the two? And is it worth doing all this work? or not. So, put this in there. This is the end result is right here. Oh, this takes up those small little plugs in this motor. Stupid twin cams. Doesn't take real Harley plugs, it takes modern stuff. It takes Evo Sportster plugs. Foreign vehicles. Right. Some of these little pigmy little things over here. Are these smaller yet? I think these are it. Yeah, yeah they got to be 10 millimeters smaller. Compression release will tell me. Yeah, that's 12, so that's 10. All right. What time is it? Ah, oh, 12.30. It's tomorrow. I started on this about nine. Mm. Three and a half hours for one hole. That's pretty good. Further than that. It goes in easier. That one went all the way in. This one's a little harder. That's it, it's tight. Okay, and this. Can you open a ziplock with one thing here? Yes, I can. Can I get out of the bag with one hand? Oh, that's the question. Without using a table. Anybody should just drop it on the table. Look at that. Let's see. Got to be able to use your left hand. When you're a mechanic, you got to use, use, use both hands almost equally. Not 100% equal, but try to be. I don't get down there all the way. That's it. Okay, so there's our difference. So, how much of a gain did it really get? I need something flat to compare. Ah! Poke me. Okay, so I got about that much gap to that plug. You see, that one is closer. Yes, definitely closer to the spark plug. So, I think all that work I did didn't gain squat. Being more straight up and down, the thin fin in here is thinner, 
than this head because this is more of an angle. So this is actually thicker on that fin down there than this one is. So I don't think it matters because we're not close enough to make any difference, but it definitely all that work didn't really gain squat. The only difference is, is this one's a little bit more straight up and down than this one. So it's hard to see a difference, but there's a difference. So I think I have a better gain at uh, running in there more straight. Now, what did it do on the other side of the valve seat? If this one's at more of an angle going in, it's going to be closer to my valve seat than this one's going to be. Okay, yeah. So once again, it's an angle thing. This one's more straight up and down, so it's closer to the seat all the time. It's moved in closer. This one is a little bit further up than this one up the, up the radius, but it's so minimal. There's my caliper at. You know, granted, caliper cylinders aren't flat. So I'm about that far away on this side. Pretty close, about 50 feet up the wall versus this one. So there's your difference. Like that versus that. That's your change. See, that's about a sixteenth of an inch away, maybe six, sixty, seventy thou. This one on the same spot. It's probably about thirty, forty, about forty thou, probably difference. So we moved over about twenty or thirty thou is all we gained. And I could probably drill it at an angle and gain more than gain that much. Let me drill that hole in here. So instead of drilling straight down the center, like they did, if I took it and drill it at an angle like this, I'll probably get the same gain. Alright, so I think we're not gaining nothing. Yeah. I'll have to think about that a little bit because it's so hard to tell how thick it is on the inside edge. How the hell do you really know? Without drilling a hole through the side of the head to see, you don't really know the depth. There's a big difference in angles. Like I said, this one goes more vertical, but it's also in further. If it was more vertical and out, you'd gain, but it's not. It's moved in. This one would be more of an angle like that. It gets close in there, but it's, it's only close to the very tip, whereas this one here is more vertical. It's closer for a longer distance. So... That means this is probably weaker than this one. Very, very marginal difference. So it's kind of a toss up. But for all the extra work and effort to move it, it didn't, I didn't get a gain. I wanted to move it over a good 100,000 that I was shooting for. Not 30 or 20, even that much. 
And I did drill my hole at a slight angle, which is probably half the gain I got was from doing that. Now the difference over here for cleaning the head up. Uh, this one cut into the fin more than this one. But I don't know if they had to cut it that deep to clean or that's just what they did. Because I didn't cut mine any more than I absolutely had to. So you can see how mine's almost nothing right down there. And theirs is pretty close to also. About 30 thou high there. They're definitely a lot higher. So they could have pulled theirs up probably 30 thou deep, they didn't go as deep as they did. I like how my hole is close to the plug hole over here, but that's just a looks thing for me. But all right, well, kind of disappointing all that work for no gain. I think it's kind of a mute point. It's what I gained by standing up and moved in, so I lost. You know, it might be 20 thou ahead, but 20 thou ain't worth the effort. So I think the next one we'll do, I'll put it down at stock dimensions, the plate. I'll push that pin back in, push this one back out and try to stock dimension on a head and see what it looks like so I'll have to go grab another head and I got a bunch of these 99 heads laying around nobody wants them so I'll see which head this is this is got a front one so I'll go find a rear one to match this one I'll do that and then I'll have a set of crappy heads and we'll see if they come in at the same angle this is and then I'll make a decision if I want to continue this method or use the stock method so. All right, well, that's where we're at for that. So, fun, fun, fun. There you go.